Hey, Mohammed, you call me, right? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What do you want to say, Mr. Mohammed? Uh, you, with this video you do, mm. huh, you are very wrong. Okay, okay, explain to us, no problem. Because I, I, I uh, live in Turkey and I'm Turkish. Mm. You are Turkish? And, uh, we, because uh, you uh, say uh, black dog, mm. we call them shaitan, uh, right? Mm. And no, this is very wrong, and you lie. What lie? I showed you the hadith. Okay. Do you see and the may hadith? Allah bless you. My friend, okay? my friend, hold on, hold on. How I lie? Oh. Is, is this the hadith in front of you? What hadith, my friend? It's in front what? of you. It's a front. It's in front of you. It's in the screen. It says, the prophet said, the black dog is the devil. Because uh, black dog, mm -hmm. you uh, dangerous dog. You understand? Ah, the black dog is dangerous, so the yellow dog is not. But he did not say it's dangerous. He said it's a devil. Who who say devil? Who? Muhammad. Muhammad, your prophet. Yes, he said the devil because yeah. it is shaitan for us. Ah, so it's shaitan. So why is shaitan? It's a black. It's a black dog. It's shaitan. So why the yellow dog is not shaitan? Explain to us, please. Uh, I don't know where where you uh, because. We call them shaitan. Uh, we call them shaitan. Why? Why? Why the black dog is shaitan, but the red dog is not shaitan? Explain to us. You are the Muslim. I'm learning from you. But uh, you, if you uh, black dog, uh, give give bad luck, bad luck. Ah, black dog give bad luck. Okay, but this is not the case. We're talking about shaitan. Why the black dog is a shaitan? Because uh, black dog, uh, hmm. uh, we black dog in prophet, our love prophet, he uh, bite bite many people. Oh, the black dog, he did that. Yeah. Hmm. But he is not talking about biting. He's talking about him as a devil. He's being the devil. I ask him, all the dogs bite, the, the yellow dog and the white dogs and whatever color of dogs, they can bite. They have teeth. A human being, they bite too. You know, if you fight with your wife, she will bite you. You know? So now yeah. answer me. What make the black dog a devil? I want to know. He did not say he bite. All dogs bite. He said all of them, they are dogs. They asked the prophet, what distinguished the yellow dog and the white dog or the red dog from the black dog? He said, the black dog is the devil. Not only that, he said, if you see a black dog, kill him. Of course, uh, 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 kill him. You the are. best option. Why? The best option. Why you kill the black dog? Explain to us, guys. He said, of course. Why, of course? Why you want to kill? Why this is the best option for you as a Muslim? Explain to us. Go ahead. Uh, because uh, we are we uh, we proud uh, to to be, uh, to kill dog in name of Allah. Ah, okay. You said you are Turkish. Yes, I'm Turkish. Do you know what your prophet said about Turkish people? Uh, no. Okay, let me show you. Because you remind me now of something your prophet he said about you people about the Turkish. He said that your face is like somebody hit you with the hammer. It's for sure he's speaking about you, your people before you invade the Castantinia and you have the blonde girls. Before that you look Asian, right? So look what he said about you. Let me show you the hadith. <clears throat> Those are your people. The last hour would not come until the Muslims fight with the Turks, a people whose their faces would like be like hammered shield, wearing clothed of hair and walking with their shoes of hair. What do you say about that? He is making fun of your face. He's saying that your face is like somebody hit you with the hammer because you have uh, small eyes 
and you have a small nose because you are originally from the middle of Asia before you invade Europe and rape the blonde girls. What do you say about Muhammad making fun of your look as an Asian person? Uh, this 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 person mm. Abu Kuraira. Yeah, the father of the cats. You know him. This person uh -huh. he said this. Okay. No, no, he, he, no, 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 no. The messenger said. Read, read, read carefully with me. He said, Abu Huraira said, reported Allah messenger saying. So the, the one who said that is Muhammad. Abu Huraira is reporting what Muhammad said. So what do you say about a prophet making fun of you Turkish people saying judgment time will not come until you fight with the Turks or they have a funny face and their faces like it's been hit by a hammer. By the way, did you been hit by a hammer anyone any time? That true? Like you Turkish look like uh, that? No? No, no. Nobody hit Why? you by a hammer before? no why okay. would uh, uh, why would we hit by hammer i don't know your prophet saying he's making fun of you he says their faces has been hammered he's saying like as if, as if like a car goes over your face because your face is a flat uh, my friend this this you read this not true okay with not true it's true who said not true you want to bet okay if not true you take me to a belly dancing party Islamic Bidensi party. If it's true, I take you to Islamic Bidensi party. What do you say? This is Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 2912. What not true? You don't even know what you are talking about. I'm sure you never heard of this before. Write it right away. You jump to say not true. What not true? This is true. This is very true. my friend this internet my friend what, what internet. internet what internet this is sahih al-bukhari my friend go and open and read look look what he will say look look this is sahih al-bukhari sahih al-bukhari huh? hadith number three five nine two huh? i heard allah messenger saying near the hour you will fight with the people who will wear hairy shoes and you will also fight with the flat faces like shields. Those are the Turkish. What do you say? Uh, no, this uh, this talk okay mm. about uh, very bad people. Uh, not not all Turkish. Ah, okay? but it doesn't matter. But you, so, are you saying some of the Turkish they have? Uh, hammered faces only some of them uh, and your prophet he they, hate those people so he uh, you are saying your prophet he hate only those turkish who have hammered faces if you are a white blonde person uh, the prophet like you is that the case but uh, you no no proof okay what only do you mean text. I, i'm showing you all the hadith and reference my friend what do you mean uh, no proof all those no proof if guys does it say does it say they are sahih does it say they are sahih Read with me in the screen. Say Sahih. 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 So now you have to invite me for a belly dancing party. Halal, by the way. I don't watch uh, not halal belly dancers. Because, you know, in Islam, there's halal belly dancer, right? You can bring slaves. You kidnap them. Those are halal. They can dance for you naked like Omar al-Khattab. He used to beat a woman, the slave, before she used to cover herself. And when she served the food, she had to serve it with wearing no, nothing in, in the top. Her breast is just open. In the front of the men, so we can do that. Now, what do you say? This is Sahir. Sahir. This is Sahir. Yeah. So this is a racism against the Turkish. What do you say? This is against your people. You are a Turkish. So now we start with the, with the dogs, and now we are against the Turkish. What about lizard? Do you know that Allah, the enemies of Allah, are the lizard too? Do you hate lizard? Be honest with me. Le lizard yes do you what is a uh, lizard oh you don't know what lizard and i need to find you uh, a picture now and uh, lizard hold on let me find you a picture of a lizard
we will find you a lizard picture anyone knows what lizard uh, in Turkish mean we need to uh, find a translation okay hold on let me I think here we should find a picture okay are you looking at the screen are you looking at the screen yes okay this is the enemy of Allah look at him like wow scary this night vision picture let us take him with the daytime ah uh, this uh, this yes yeah this this guy this guy do you know do you know him Ah, Shapik, Shapik. Shapik. Ah, okay. Well, why this this guy is the enemy of Allah? Do you know what what exactly what he did? Uh, my friend, yeah. this animal, this this animal, very small but very dangerous. Oof, okay. Oof, 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 oof. Okay. What what? Because they 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 like they when they come to uh, to uh, hand. Uh -huh. or uh, feet uh -huh. they they like they like uh, your blood oof, oof, and, oof. they do really are you uh, are you, give you, uh, are you poison. sure oof, oof. i never heard of this before this is new for me so the lizard they give you your prophet talking about the house lizard by the way the one you see them in the house they are very tiny small why they are very uh, since when those uh, this, so this one come to your hand and give you are, are you sure yes mm. I'm, I'm so glad I'm speaking to you mr. it's an honor to speak to someone educated like you I never thought all my life I will learn such a knowledge today I just learned something new I'm going to add it to my note so in the future because you see this is what I do I learn from people like you and then I open chat and I claim that I know you know so but the fact I'm learning from people so now I learned that this is because this is a very dangerous animal. So Allah, he made an order for the Muslims to do jihad against it. Why we need to do jihad against it? What do you think? What's the reason? Uh, no, we don't. You, you, uh, you use word jihad. We don't use word jihad. Where in Quran you, you find jihad? Okay, if I find it for you in the Quran, what you would do? But uh, we say we we uh, kill. No, no, hold, hold on, hold, no, no, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, I I know why you are saying where in the Quran it says jihad because I, there is many uh, dummy Muslims they keep saying if you search the whole Quran you will not find the word uh, jihad. Is that correct? Is that is that what you heard before? They say to you if you search the whole Quran you will not find the word jihad. Yes or no? You heard this right? My friends, we. I'm asking you a question. Uh, is it why you are saying to me this is not in the Quran? You said to me this is not in the Quran because you heard before people are saying to you that the word jihad is not exist in the Quran. Is that correct? Uh, you 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 use uh, jihad. My friend, why you wanna, why you don't want to answer? Is the word jihad is in the Quran or not? If we type the word jihad in the Quran, the Muslim who will say to you, we cannot find it. Here we go. This is jihad. Where is jihad? There's no jihad, brother. There's no jihad. Where is jihad? No. Let's say it's jihad in front of you. Here we go. This is jihad. Okay. Who oh, oh, this? This is uh, jihad. This. this uh... Where in the Quran there is no jihad? This is jihad. My friend, this is Arabic. Mm -hmm. I. Ah, uh, yeah, so. So what? I don't no, no speak Arabic. I, so okay, this, I, not, this might not my problem. It's not my problem. But you say to me, where in the where you got this word jihad from? So, and then in the Quran says more ugly. He says jahidu, jahidu, as a group, not only one. And how you can how you can do jihad by killing the, the infidels? You know. How you want to go to heaven? All those verses by going doing jihad. All right. You see, all of those is about jihad. Go for jihad as a group. All right, all those verses. Now we go back to zero. So 
I showed you I did not show you yet about uh, about the lizard what do you think about lizard what, why you need to kill them uh, we uh, lizard is uh, haram for us hmm. okay? why why haram because uh, we don't we uh, we no no eat lizards hmm. why we no eat lizard uh, we we don't we know it uh, uh, red blood. Hmm. Well, as I, I you know, I, I, if somebody told me that the reason we don't eat lizard as Muslims because they are Jews, what do you say? Is that true? Uh, they are no. Jews. No, no. You don't believe in that? Do you think he's crazy? The one who said that that the the lizard are Jewish people. Allah, He made them lizard. Uh, no, you don't believe in that. We uh, Jewish no. we lizard lizard. Let us talk about lizard. Do you think the lizard? They are Jewish people. Who Allah who made them lizard. They are Jewish. Allah made them lizard. Some people they say that I don't know. You, do you believe in that? Uh, no. No. So no. you think it's stupid? Do you think it's stupid to say such a thing? Uh, stupid? No. No. Is, is it smart then? Yes, it's smart to say that the Jewish are are lizard. Uh, we why why you mention uh, Jewish people? They are human, okay? They are human. Um, I don't know. Your, yes, your prophet in the front of me here is saying no. They are they are lizard. Uh, this you this text is uh, uh, translate manipulation. Okay. What what the manipulation? This is your Islamic translation. Uh, for me, I don't need to read translation. I read Arabic. This is your website. This is your Muslim website, Sunnah.com. According to your prophet, the Jewish are lizard, and this is why he don't want to eat them. If you eat a lizard, you are eating a Jew. Do you see it? We were in the army with the Messenger of Allah, S A W S. We got some lizard, and ro I roasted one lizard. And brought it to the messenger of Allah. He said he placed his, his uh, before him, and he took a stick and he counted the fingers. Fingers, you see, he know them from their fingers. Then he said, a group of the children of Israel were, were transmitted, or transformed, into animals of the land, and I do not know which animal it was. He did not eat it, nor did forbid it. So he was not sure if the lizard are the Jews or not yet. He's afraid if he eat the lizard, he's eating a Jew. What do you think? Do you do you think really Allah He made people lizard and cats and dogs and pigs and monkeys? Do you believe in that? Uh, this uh, this uh, Muhammad. But this, by the way, the lizard. How how many how many finger he have? Uh, lizard. Yeah, how many finger he have? Uh, no, what do uh, you mean? How many fingers? fingers? Do you know what fingers mean? Yes, okay. But, uh, how many fingers? How many? Uh, four. The, the lizards have four fingers. Okay, okay, let us see this one. Let us check one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah, this is why Muhammad he think they are Jews because they have fingers. They have five fingers like us. I mean, your prophet five. is so smart, man. How how he thought about it? I never thought about this before. So your prophet he they put the lizard in the front of him, and then he start counting their fingers, and he said like one finger, two finger, three finger. How many fingers you have, Muhammad? Uh, this not. Uh... No, how can you say uh, this were Jewish people and then Allah transformed them? It's not true, my friend. What do you mean not true? You don't believe that Allah He made the Jews into animals? No. Oh, but this is in the Quran. Don't you know the Quran says that the Jews, Allah He made them pigs and monkeys? Don't you know? Yes. But you saw, a second ago you said no. There's no. They did not make them animals. Now you say yes. But uh, he, he not mean. He think. He think. 
Huh? Oh, yes. What, what does that mean? What do you mean? He, he think? thinking. Uh, not, no, but uh, not true. Uh, Jewish human normal, normal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, transformed to uh, lizard, not real. He think. So you're. Pro are you saying to me your prophet is a crazy? He He's, think. No, pro prophet. I believe he opinion. Okay. Opinion. Oh, your prophet have his opinion, but his opinion is not convincing to you. So you don't believe in what he what he's saying. He's saying what he's I, saying. You are saying what what Muhammad said is stupid. His opinion is stupid, right? No, no, I I not call Muhammad stupid. I love Muhammad. Ah, okay, but you just said this is his opinion. You don't believe in his opinion. Do you believe that uh, uh, Allah He made the the Jews uh, pigs and monkeys and lizards? Yes or no? Yes. You believe in that? Of course. Okay. But a second ago, you told me you don't believe in that. You said this is his opinion. I said uh, I don't uh, believe that uh, it uh, is true, but uh, I believe opinion. You see? You see, my English is not good like yours, but I'm trying to understand. Opinion of Muhammad, that the Jews became animals. Do you agree with it or not? Yes. Do you agree? Okay. So you need to kill the lizard. Is that because they are Jews? Jew? No. Uh -huh. oh. No. What, you do know, you, what, what do you mean? No. Okay. I, I want to ask you then. Why the prophet said then, the one who kill a lizard from the first shot, Allah will give him a special uh, reward. Reward, yeah, in heaven, like extra versions. If you kill a lizard, why? Read with me carefully. The prophet of Allah said, Whoever kills a house lizard, you see, this is a house lizard, not the one who live in the jungle of Amazon. A house lizard, and those are a small, tiny one, very cute. And by the way, they are very useful because they eat the insects around you, they eat, uh, they eat uh, spiders, they eat, you know, they, they help you actually. They don't, they never harm any human being. I never heard of a lizard doing anything wrong to anyone. They don't, they cannot. Now, read with me. Whoever kills the house lizard with one blow will have such and such reward. Whoever kill it with two blows will have such and such reward, which means less than the first one. And whoever kill it from the third one he will have such and such, which means less than the first and the second. So why you will get a reward for killing a lizard? Uh, we reward uh, uh, we because it's uh, uh, who kill lizard uh, is a hero for us. He's a hero. Uh -huh. Why? Because uh, lizard, uh, it's it's not if you don't uh, kill lizard mm. then you have too many lizard ah if you don't kill lizard you have too many lizard well there's too many animals around us why muhammad he focus on the lizard what about killing the flies which one is more harmful lizard so what too many lizard will not do any wrong they don't eat your food they eat insect do you eat cockroaches do you eat fly they don't eat your food. What's the problem? I look what this guy here said in the text. Mr. Naif, he said in the text. I wish Mr. Naif would call me. I don't know why he don't call. Maybe his mom, she did not let him call me. Naif, he said, The North Kingdom of Israel, the ten tribes are lost. We do not know what happened to them. Even Jews search for them. <laughs> so you are saying to me, that there's a tribe is lost and we can find them between the lizard, my friend. <laughs> Mr. Naif, are you saying that those tribe of the Jews who they are lost, they are the lizard? Can you confirm that to us, please? Can you confirm, Mr. Naif? Please, we are waiting for your confirmation in the text. Somebody saying Akhbatni. Shrub Shrub Wadil Bairi, well, Shunu Akhbatnak. Shunu Ada. Ahtiram, your Rajul. 
خذ لي مدسن ايش يا رب يا نايف ار يو ذير نايف ماي فريند يو يو اونلي يو اونلي ميشن يو شود انديرستاند I don't understand. This is the problem. We don't understand. Muhammad, your prophet is crazy, obviously. I mean, why? Oh. What, what, okay, tell me. Why? Okay, now we will kill the lizard anyway. Why, if I killed him from the first blow, Allah will give me a reward in heaven? Why? Why the second blow is less reward? Why is that? I uh, told you, it's uh, it's like uh, like you give a uh, medal. If, 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 if. So if I go to Turkey right now, I will find the Turkish people in the street chasing desert and killing them, and like everybody wanna. How many how many medal you get from your from your God by now? I mean, how many lizard you killed in your life? Be honest with me. Uh, no, I I don't I don't like lizard. Okay, I don't. You don't like them. lizard. You don't like them. They don't like you too. I can tell. But I mean, what what? But isn't it? Don't you want to get reward? Here we go. Your prophet saying you get a very extra reward if you kill the lizard from the first blow. What about tomorrow? You go in the street, you and Erdogan, and start looking for lizard and make a video of it. This is jihad, as you see, jihad against the lizard. So you Muslims, you have a phobia that dogs are your enemies. The black dog is a shaitan. The lizard is the enemy of Allah. I mean, what is that? What about the mice? What do you think about the mice? Mouse. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. Uh, do, you, mouse do you know? Do you know? Uh, do you know the cartoon Mickey Mouse? Yes, I, I know. Yeah. Do you know that the, the Muslims, your brothers, they have a fatwa, which I mean a holy order to kill Mickey Mouse. Do you? Did you hear of, of it? Uh, but uh, you, you know, you should know, uh, mice. Okay. Mm. I don't like my half mice. Okay, but do you like uh, Mickey Mouse? Do you like Mickey Mouse? Be honest with me. Did you watch when you were a kid Mickey Mouse? I think you still watch it until now, don't you? Uh, no, no, I don't see Mickey Mouse. Okay, but why the Muslim want to kill Mickey Mouse? Why? Why they? Why Mickey Mouse is not mouse? Is uh, uh, animation? Okay, but Muslims wanna wanna kill it. Why? So you know uh, it's mice, an... yeah. mice, very small mice. Uh -huh. They they walk. They they dangerous. You know that. Uh, but no, okay, why you want to? But this is Mickey Mouse. This is the uh, this is the cartoon. Why you want to kill the Mickey Mouse? My friend, because you, I think you live in uh, America. That's why you uh -huh. mention Mickey Mouse. My friend, I live in America. That's why I mention Mickey Mouse. No, you live in you live in Arabia. The sheikhs who mention killing Mickey Mouse, they are in Arabia, and this is the news. Mickey Mouse died. Sa say Saudi Arabia cleric. They, they the Muslims. They made a fatwa to kill the Mickey Mouse, for he is the enemy of Allah. Do you uh, see the article? My my friend, yeah. I live in uh, Turkey, not Saudi Arabia. It doesn't matter. This is a Muslim cleric. This is not about uh, which country. You know, and all Muslims, cleric, they agree that Mickey Mouse is very dangerous. They should be killed. Have you ever thought about like committing suicide against Mickey Mouse or doing something like an uh, attack yourself and your family by the help of Erdogan? Is it like uh, the plan of the Muslim in the future to wage war, war against Mickey Mouse and his family and his army? Uh, no, no. no. Uh, Erdogan is a uh, leader of our free Muslim world. Yeah, free. Just yesterday, he kicked 18,000 employees of the government. Is that a free nation? You make them lose their jobs because they don't like the president? Uh, no, these people yeah. were uh, enemy of uh, our enemy, uh, Fethullah Gulen. And ah, he, he lived in America. But Gulen is a Muslim too, and he's a Turkish like you. What enemy? Why he became an enemy? Just because he don't like your president? And he's a Muslim Brotherhood, like your president. Actually, he is the one who made your president a president. He was the master of your president all his life. Now the guy, he took over and he threw him in the garbage. So why 18,000 people, they lost their job yesterday in a free country just because they are against the president? 18,000 in one day. In one day. 
I will tell you. They... Uh, no, I, will, I know the secret because they did not do jihad against the lizard. No, it's no? not true, my friends. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about the lizard story. Yes, 18,000 just yesterday. You can go and read the law. He signed a law and 18,000 people lost their job in one day. That's why I say Turkey is, 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 is being destroyed. This guy is going to cause a civil war. When you make 18,000 let go, all of them, they are important people. All of them, they are from the army, from the police, from the air forces, from the navy, from everywhere. Those are armed people. They will go and make war. Just wait. It's coming. And the, and the economy is collapsing and the country is going in hell. Now, listen, uh, mister. I showed you that Muhammad, he hated Turkish. You have no answer. I showed you that Muhammad, he think the Jews are lizard. You have no answer. Uh, what about uh, the Jews? They are rats. What do you think? Do you think the Jews are rats or this is the phobia of your prophet? Uh, where, where, uh, where Muhammad say uh, Jewish people are, are are rats? I don't know. I saw that in the Rat magazine. Uh, here we go. Let us see. My friend, we we respect Jewish as we people. Respect you. Man, that's that's too, that's a good lie. I like that. Okay. Oh, it's well, true, this, my friend. Okay, true. It's true. Yeah, this is a true lie. Absolutely. Okay, let's see what your prophet said about the Jews. They are rats, my friend. The Jews are rats. Here we go. Where is where is the guy who said the nation of Israel, one nation of Israel is lost? Read with me. The prophet said, the prophet said, a group of Israelists were lost. And nobody knows what they did. But I do not see them except that they were cursed and they changed into rats. Do you see it? Yes. Hmm. Do you think really the rats are Jews? Do you agree with your prophet or do you think he is being dumb? Stupid. Uh, no. We, this prophet, hmm. our prophet Muhammad, hmm. uh, bless hmm. him. Bless him a lot. Please, 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 please say inshallah. again, bless him, inshallah, inshallah. Do you know what to bless him mean? Yes. What to bless him mean? You tell me. I ask you, my friend, you tell me, you tell me. What to bless him mean? You said, my prophet, bless him. What to bless him mean? Uh, we bless him hmm. because we respect our prophet. Ah, okay, we will talk about that later. It's not, let us go and focus on the rats. So why the Jews are rats for your prophet? What do you think the real reason behind that? To be honest with you, once a Jew, he came to my house. I just went to my, my bedroom. I came back. I found him eating from my refrigerator. You believe it? So maybe your prophet was telling something in connection. What do you think? Is that why Muhammad he here is guessing that the Jews are rats? And he is giving proof of that. So do you agree with him or you don't? Uh, he, the prophet, he did not like a, a direct, direct say Jew are red. Ah, he did not say, but no, he said that. Read with me carefully. It says, look, and, say hold on, hold on. You see what I like about your prophet? I like his super intellect and super intelligence. Look what he said. He said that there's a nation, a group of the Jews lost. So now Muhammad is giving us with his intelligence some introduction to the story we are lost and nobody knows where they are where they, where did they lost and this is amazing i mean the introduction alone is a story by itself but i do not see them except they were cursed and changed into rats now muhammad you want to give us why he thought or he believed they are the rats he said for if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat it will not drink it. But if a milk of a sheep in the front of it, it will drink it. That is astonishing. What do you say about such a knowledge? Be honest with me. Uh, my friend, 
this uh, he said that he uh, Jewish mm-hmm. uh, what uh, why why you mentioned that they changed my friend my friend my friend your prophet saying that because he noticed that those rats don't drink she camel and the Jews they don't drink she camel he is thinking this is the very clear proof that these those rats are Jews and this is very scientific don't you agree I mean look donkeys don't drink vodka and Muslims don't drink vodka. Does that mean that Muslims and donkeys are Muslims? They used to be Muslims and became donkeys. Uh, no. So what are your prophet saying that then? Are you making fun of your prophet? Uh, no, uh, this prophet. What this prophet? Uh, show respect. Don't say this prophet. Say my prophet. Don't say this prophet. My prophet. My prophet. Please show respect. So. My prophet, prophet. Okay, what no, you said you this mean? prophet, you said, you know, when we say this prophet, it's like you are putting his your finger in his eye. My prophet, okay, my prophet, he think the rats are the Jews. Why? Because they don't drink it, drink the she camel milk. Is that really a reason to believe that somebody is an animal like somebody because they don't they eat the same food as an example? As an example, as an example, monkeys, they drink urine. Muslims, they drink urine. Do you think Muslims and monkeys are one nation your prophet he said drink urine monkeys they drink urine they have no problem they drink anything so what do you say what is the logic your prophet here providing us that because the rats and what what your prophet saying here that those are not only jews my friend those are special kind uh of Jews very very special uh, those are uh, simply an uh, Orthodox Jews uh, Jews uh, Orthodox Jew we this is the my my prophet this not not uh, mentioned that Jews, uh, my, fr my friend, he's saying that he's saying those are Orthodox Jews because not all the Jews they care for those stuff. You must be Orthodox Jew to do that. So he is saying that those rats are Orthodox Jews. By the way, I noticed that rats they have a beard. Did you notice that yourself? Some of them they have beard. Uh, this, no, this you compare this, uh, not, not interest, okay. What, what net interest? It's your prophet saying because the, the rats don't drink the she camel with his super intelligence, he got the conclusion that because the camels, the she camel milk is not drunk by the rats, obviously they are Jews and they are Orthodox Jews. This is, so, your, this is the special intelligence of your prophet, show respect. I mean, are you saying he's a liar? Are you saying your prophet is lying here? No. Okay. No. Are you saying your prophet is stupid here? No. Then you have to believe in what he said. You have to say yes. Those rats are Jews. Otherwise, you are making fun of your prophet. Uh, that's that's not uh, that's not true because. Uh, you, you, hold on, hold on, Muhammad. I mean, you are driving me crazy. Did you just say this is not true? You are saying your prophet is a liar. He did not uh, direct say Jew. No, he said, he said, he said, because they are not drinking the she milk camel, they are the camel she milk, they are not, they, are, they must be Jews. He's saying that. What do you mean not direct? He said, he's comparing between the rats and the Jews. What is the, what they share with, with, together, what they share, both of them, they don't drink, don't drink the she camel. And this is the reasoning for him to prove to us that those are Jews who Allah transformed them into rats. By the way, I saw I saw a, a video of a rat was shaking his head, you know, because he was like praying, you know. No, no, no. He's reading the Torah. What do you say? Uh, my friend, uh, uh -huh. this is not true. What do you mean not true? He, 
he say he he uh Jew not really uh, red, okay? They are not okay. So why your prophet is saying that? You confirm that your prophet, my friend, not to me. Muhammad is Muhammad respect all all uh, people, okay? My friend, what Muhammad respect all people? Here we go. He's saying that rats are Jews and they are Orthodox. What what do you say? Maybe uh, he he not say uh, to uh, hmm. this. Uh, you you put uh, interesting text hmm. just to to uh, propaganda. You see, ah, it's me now to blame. Well, I'm not the one who said that, my friend. It's your prophet. What's wrong with you? You want to blame me now for what your prophet said? Ask your prophet what he said, why he said that, why you are blaming me now. Oh, let us blame the Jews. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you have a refrigerator at home? What? Do you have a refrigerator at home? The one you put the food in to stay cold? Like a freezer? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, you have one. Do you know why we have freezer and refrigerator according to your prophet? Do you know what the real reason? This is because of the Jews. According to your prophet, the food is damaged because of the Jews. Do you believe in that? Or you don't believe? Uh, uh, no, he no, no say that. Uh, no, he say, my eat. friend. No, he say. No, he say. Let us see. Here we go. Your prophet said, the reason for everybody to have a freezer, let me read the hate for you. The prophet said, Everyone he should have a freezer because if you don't have a freezer the Israeli they will make your food damage. Do you see it? The hate in front of you the prophet said were it not for Benny Israel meat will not decay So why the why the meat damage? Because of the Jews Do you see it? Uh, you this this say for uh, Bunny Israel so Bani Israel is name. the Jews. Bani Israel is the Jews, my friend. Bani Israel is the Jews. Bani. Uh, Bani in Arabic means the children of Israel. Those are the Jews, Abdul. Uh, it's Arabic, you see? Ah, it's Arabic. Ah, but Israel is not Arabic, my friend. And the word Bani is not even Arabic. This is a Jewish word. This is a Hebrew word. Now, what do you say? The Prophet said, We're not if Bani Israel meat will not decay. Why the why the meat decay and the damage? Because of the Jews. I know it. I know it. I am spending all this money for my refrigerator, electricity, buying the freezer. Uh, you know, uh, and all of this because of the Jews. If there is no Jews, we can leave the food outside on the table for centuries and will never damage. But because of the Jews, look what's happening. This is the phobia of Muhammad. Isn't it? This is a phobia, Muhammad. You think even the food is damaged, and we blame the Jews for anything? Uh, no, he not. Uh, uh, what do you uh, mean? No, uh, no. He's saying that. Explain to me what is the relationship between beef and the Jews? Then I have one kilograms of beef is going to be damaged only because of the Israeli. Explain that to me. I'm listening to you. He not. Uh, he say here meat, not uh, not uh, other food. You what, say what, meat? Meat, yeah, meat. You know what meat? Meat, uh, beef. Uh, yes. Shish kebab. Beef. Yeah. So why yeah. it's go? Ah, so only meat. Ah, I got a point here, guys. You see, we have to be higher in level to understand the Muslim. He make a point here, which is not, we are not aware of it because we are Christians. We are not that smart. It is meat only, not all the food. So the Jews only the your meat, not the rest, like not tomato, or etc. No. Only the meat. Okay, explain to us now why the meat will be damaged by the children of Israel. Uh, children or Israel or Jewish? The Jewish, the Jewish, the children of the Israel. The ch Israel is a guy. His name is Israel. His uh, children are the Jews. Okay. The, the meat will damage because of them. Explain to us why. How? Uh, my friend, hmm. he talk about one Jewish person. No, it says Benny Israel. Benny or children's children's of Israel. Children's, not one. 
not one uh, not one person not one person let me show you different better translation if you don't if you don't like this translation because customers here come first here we go do you see it the prophet said the prophet said but for the israelis meat would not decay okay do you see it if not the jews the meat will not decay and then he continues saying and if there is no eve no wife will betray her husband so he blamed eve for all the problems in the world all the women they betray their husbands because of eve they are bad they are ugly they are disgusting this one not married are you married uh, muhammad uh, married yeah uh, no huh. by the way if you are thinking about divorce i will give you my card i have a degree in law in islamic law i can divorce you very easy all right i can defend you doesn't matter even if there are four wives and i will not charge you too much Okay, after we finish, I will give you my card and my office number so you can contact me after the, you know, and you can bring a lot of Muslims to me. Anyone want to divorce or if you divorce your wife three times and you want to have her back, we have a solution from the Quran. Don't worry. Now, if not the Israelis, as you see, it's not for one guy. The meat will not damage. Explain that to us. Uh, he, uh, Muhammad, mm -hmm. he say that meat not uh, as food uh, decay he uh, he say uh, metaphor this is metaphor yes okay it was very metaphor to meet you and speak to you i'm very glad call me again mr muhammad i think we are done for today thank you mr muhammad for calling us it was a very nice metaphorical call between I, me and you i give you su suggest uh -huh. Is it going to be a metaphorical suggest or is it going to be real? Uh, you need uh, you need find real work, okay? Uh, real work. Is, uh, not uh, not uh, sit uh, internet all day. My friend, this is my metaphorical work. What do you think? What what was the job of your prophet? What is the job of your prophet? Yeah, he, he have thirteen wives. He have hundreds of girls to sleep with. How he no. make living? How he make living? What he do for a living, your prophet? No, he he worked very hard. No, 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 uh, he did not work. Us. No, he did not work anything. What work? Tell me, tell me his job. Before he became a prophet, he was working for Khadija. After he married the Khadija, he had no job. He sat home, have sex with the wife, the old wife. Then he claimed to be prophet. He raped the people. He take their money. He 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 steal the money. He attacked the caravan. What is the job of your prophet? my friend mm. you say this this serious accusation i'm not saying and that it's in the quran do you want to show it to you from the right magazine oh my friend mm. please you find the work okay, okay. no synth internet mm. do, do i you, understand do you, do, you... do you like to give me a job in turkey if I, I like to work in those night clubs in, in istanbul do you have connection Yes, come Istanbul, my friend. Uh, come. A, a lot of That's Turkish girls point. in prostitution, mashallah. It's a very Islamic country. You know, you walk there yeah. in the street, people wearing no clothes. I wonder why. Anyway, Mr. Muhammad, thank you very much for your metaphorical call and your metaphorical advice. And, and I really, inshallah, I learned, I learned. Allah bless you and huh? long live our president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Okay. Seni seviyorum. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one you know my friend the best thing happened to turkey for me is erdogan because this is the one who will make turkey turkeys and count my words in five years from now there's no turkey five years from now just wait you will see this country this country is divided and scattered this is why actually people they ask me if i wish erdogan to win or to lose I said, I pray, not only I wish, that he will win. This is the best thing happened for me as a person who, uh, a Christian from the Middle East, we suffer a lot because of the Turkish. Uh, they, they are going to face the consequence. History will repeat itself and will go back to them, to, the, to their own. So, the worst thing happened to Turkey is Erdogan. The best thing for me is Erdogan. The worst for you as Turkish. And you will see that. That's why I pray that even Erdogan will win the Kemal election. If Turkey survived the five years coming. But I don't think they will survive. 
the currency is dying the country is dying just yesterday we just mentioned 18,000 laid off yesterday this man is a madman it's stupid he's a dictator but it's a stupid one he think he is getting rid of his enemies the fact he is unleashing them from any responsibility when you are an employee for government and you don't like the president you will stay you will keep your mouth shut because you are afraid to lose your job now you lost your job uh, you see isis isis the real reason behind isis to 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 flourish is the stupid decision of the shia government of of baghdad they lay down all the sunni from the army all the sunni they lay them down from the army from the police from etc and those people they are seek revenge they are angry and they found isis is the best place to go turkey is going to face a very ugly disgusting tomorrow very and count my words